let's take a look at the mechanics of trimming with trim mode and the keyboard. First, let's go over how to perform a ripple trim, also known as single roller trim. To do this, you'll enter trim mode, check track selectors, select a side by either clicking the A side's outgoing frame or the B side's incoming frame or the keyboard equivalent. Then press the trim keys on your keyboard or trim buttons in the trim interface to execute the trim. Let's replay these steps again to give this example context. So we want to start this clip later in the content. That means we'll enter trim mode near the clip's head frame. To trim the beginning of the shot or the incoming side, we click the B side or right monitor or press the right bracket on the keyboard. Then to precisely start the shot later, we press the period or forward slash key on the keyboard or the right facing multi-frame and single frame trim buttons. Then we'll play loop to review the trim. To review the clips leading up to this edit, we can click the timecode ruler or timecode track. Notice that by default, ripple trim is activated when you choose one side or the other. To switch to overwrite trim, press Shift D on the keyboard. This works well for finessing narration clips. 